Hi everyone, it's Nicole here today with a couple of inside pop card holder cards that feature Mama Elephant stamps and dies for interactive cards that hold gift cards inside of these really fun card bases. Now this inside a pop card holder really works best with a traditional side fold card, whether you keep it landscape or portrait, that is the best way I think and I have found to use the interactive die for the inside. Let's start with the front cover of our Happy New Year style card, the first one I'm gonna make. This is using Distress Inks with the Tim Holtz Mint. Um, this is the Mint Shifter Layering Stencil. So I'm using just a little tape here to hold this down, repositionable tape to hold this down and apply my ink. And I'm going in with Salty Ocean first and then we're gonna go in between with the Wilted Violet. Then we're gonna flip the stencil the other way to make a plaid. This is a fantastic way to make your own background patterns. The great thing about the shifter is you wanna shift it so that the design that you just inked is covered and then you wanna ink again. So let's grab the Wilted Violet. I decided I was originally gonna do green. You can see I grabbed green here and I was like, no, I think I wanna do purple. I'm a really big fan of blue and purple for holiday-ish themed cards for a little non-traditional. I think it's a really pretty color combination. I think it looks awesome with like snowflakes and things as well. And then I'm just simply applying the ink through this stencil. And when I lift this up, you're gonna see that we're gonna be left with this awesome stripe design. So if you don't wanna go all the way and make plaid, you could very easily do a stripe instead. So let's lift this up and check out that really fun pattern. Now what's awesome about this is that, again, I'm gonna just shift it, cover up what I've done. I like to keep holding it down. It just helps a little bit, keep it a little bit more secure. I'm also doing more of an ombre effect with my stripes, meaning they're darker at the bottom and lighter up at the top. And I'm gonna continue this throughout. Shift again, go in and add the purple. I did all one direction first, so this kind of diagonal first. I know it's probably meant to be used straight up and down or side to side, whatever you wanna do there, but I really like a diagonal. Um, if you've ever seen me do a diagonal design with border stamps or other types of inking, I often will do a diagonal because it's really forgiving. Um, if you're not exactly straight, it's a little bit harder to tell. Um, so that's one of the reasons I tend to gravitate towards a diagonal design. But you definitely wouldn't have to. I think a straight up and down, just basic um, plaid would be awesome. Whether maybe you do red and green, red and black, green and black, green and gray, um, red and gray, whatever it might be as far as holiday themes go, um, but I think you could do some really fun things. So I'm gonna flip it the other way. You might also notice I'm not worrying too much about getting clear to the edges everywhere, and that's because I'm going to be die cutting this and just using mostly the center of the panel. We're going back the other way. It might be a slightly trickier just because we got lots going on now, but it really, if you just shift it and cover up what you've just done, and I really st liked starting in the middle and shifting over, that worked really well for me. It actually is super easy. So now I'm just going back and adding in my purple, and then we'll shift it up to each corner just like we did before and we're gonna end up with this really awesome plaid design. So I know this video is mostly about the interactive um, 
ca gift card holder element inside, but I wanted to give you some fun options for the front of the card as well, where we aren't having the interactive element. Um, because I think presentation is everything and you, the recipient will be, open this up and see this really cute card or this really pretty card and not maybe expect that they're gonna be getting this awesome present inside with a gift card. So this is all just about some fun ideas for different presentation. Now this card says Happy New Year. And we are gonna be using the Happy New Year Wishes stamp set with this today. We're using um, lots of new products from the October 2018 release. And we're gonna be stamping that large Happy New Year Wishes over our plaid background, embossing in white, and then adding some additional greetings from that stamp set below on little strips of cardstock. But I also took in to account that because this is a Happy New Year card, I thought it would be fun to use the like the little bottles that could be, you know, sparkling um, cider or champagne, whatever you want it to be, um, from the Holiday Biddies stamp set, which is super versatile. I've used it a ton this month for different kinds of cards, and we're going to decorate. So let's go ahead and put together our inside pop card holder. I have two panels. Each card holder needs two panels. I put one half inch score tape on the back of the two long sides and then one eighth inch score tape on the two tabs. And then if you want to add the optional handles, which I'm gonna use this handle. There's two different handle, actually three different handle options. I'm gonna show you two of them here. If you wanna check out another option, please be sure to visit my blog or the Mama Elephant blog or the Mama Elephant YouTube channel for another option. Now to line the handles up perfectly, I'm gonna use the first one that I took the score tape off of and we're gonna just line that up. This is the easiest way I have found to make sure that you get them lined up. I'm gonna show you another technique for this when using a different handle when we get to the next card. Let's go ahead and attach this inside our card now. I've got a white side fold card base. You might have noticed at the beginning of this video that this is a card that opens like a book. This is a side fold card, um, but we're gonna open it like a book. And then our gift card pop-up is gonna pop up here on the inside. I guess we'll come back to that here in just a second. I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my Happy New Year Wishes large greeting, stamp this over my plaid background that we just created with a clear embossing ink and heat emboss with white embossing powder. I will admit I was a little worried. I contemplated and went back and forth quite a bit with what color I wanted to use for my embossing. I was a little afraid white wouldn't show up, but I decided to go ahead and try it because I just didn't feel like black ink was gonna look good. Um, silver might have been okay. I just wasn't real gung-ho on it. And so I opted to go with white, which tends to be my go-to, probably used 90% of the time. And I end up, when I emboss it, it actually looks way better than when the powder was on before I melted it. And I was super happy with the results. So it ended up being easy to read. I like it, looks good. So. I'm glad I didn't have to redo the background. We are going to take an older, previously released Mama Elephant die. This is the Madison Avenue dies. And I'm gonna die cut my frame. Originally, I kept the frame and the inside panel, but we're gonna cover up the frame. It was just too busy. Then I attached the frame to my card base. I attached the inside panel with foam adhesive to make it pop up a little bit. I was trying to find something to make it distinguishable from the um, rest of the card. And I know I missed sharing how I attached that inside pop to the inside. So 
I apologize about that. For whatever reason, that part of the video did not record. But in the next card in this video, I will share that step by step so you can see that a little bit closer up. Next, I'm attaching these two little phrases from the holiday or the happy, pardon me, the happy new year wishes stamp set stamped on some Simon Says Stamp Island Blue cardstock with a clear embossing ink, heat embossed again with white embossing powder and attached with foam adhesive. And I'm taking Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard and decorating the insides of these little flourishes here. Just to give a little bit of sparkle to the background. This is the champagne or sparkling cider bottle from Holiday Biddies. And I'm gonna color this in with Copic markers. Because this is a long video, it's two complete cards in this video and I wanted to keep the coloring in this one. So I sped it up pretty fast. The colors are listed across the top of the screen. So if at any time you're wondering exactly what I'm using, that's where you can find that information. I stuck to blue and purple to match the plaid we created for the front of the card. So the bows, there's a blue and there's a purple bow. Then each bottle, one is blue, one is purple in a little bit lighter color. The cork at the top is in some shades of brown. The label, we're gonna go with grays. And then we're gonna stamp faces from the Holiday Biddies stamp set on each of these. Now there's three bottles here and that's because we're gonna use that last one to decorate the inside pop card holder on the inside of the card. I always like to add just a little something on the inside or a lot, whatever you wanna do to decorate that. And we're going to use the coordinating holiday biddies die to die cut these once we have them all colored in. I did two of the blue bottle. So that third bottle there, I'm not going to actually share that the coloring of that in the video since it's going to be colored exactly the same. However, I did use one of the other faces. I believe there's four different faces in the holiday biddies and I just did three different ones for each bottle. I'm going to use my snip scissors to cut apart my dies, remove any of those little sharp edges, and then of course die cut the bottle three times so we can finish putting our card together. And we're going to tuck these two on either side along the bottom edge of the card. And you'll also see that I did die cut an island blue frame. And I think this is going to frame up our card much better. Plus that is the same color of cardstock I used for the inside pop card holder on the inside. So it's all going to coordinate really nicely. To make the bottle really stand out, I am taking some glossy accents and only applying it to the bottle portion of each of my images. And that's going to include the one that we're going to put on the inside of the card. I always like to finish anything that's supposed to be quote unquote glass with that. That little scallop tag is from the new scallop tags trio stamped with the to and from from the holiday wishes or holiday messages, pardon me, stamp set. We're going to attach our frame around the outer edge right over the other one there. Our inside panel is still going to be popped up. And then we're going to decorate the inside of our card with the other bottle and we're going to tie our little two from tag to that little tote bag. And I use some blue twine to coordinate with the rest of the design. And that is going to finish off our first card. So this could work kind of holiday, New Year's time. Maybe you know someone who has a birthday in January. I think that would be fun as well. For the second card, I am going to create this more cutesy style card using some stamps and dies, not only from the October release, but the September release as well. We're gonna start with our outside panel, the front of the card, inking this up with squeezed lemonade and abandoned coral distress inks. This is a little bit different color combination. I went a little outside the box, actually for both of my cards today. Um, 
And I wanted something really bright, very much influenced by the sentiment from the Bright Lights stamp set from the October release that we're going to be using. This is a string of lights. There's two different options, two different light options, round or the more traditional Christmas lights, and then four different greetings. And I thought these would be fun to use with that. Plus, I thought, felt like we could stamp over them with distress inks for the lights because they're a solid image, not an outline image, and it would still show up. So it's more squeezed lemonade in the center. However, I like to start with the squeezed lemonade and layer the abandoned coral over that. And it just kind of gives off, I wanted a glow effect. I'm hoping that's what I achieved here. And then we're gonna have a whole bunch of cute little images from a couple of different stamp sets from the September release. We've got Yappy, Woofmas, and Trim the Tree. And we're gonna combine those with that Bright Lights Christmas string of lights. So once we have our background inked, we want to stamp our string of lights and stamp our sentiment. And what I love about the sentiments is that each one of them has a cursive font and then an outline font, which I like for the outline to color it in because I think it's just a nice little way to really draw your eye to that sentiment. I chose to use Sparkle and Shine Bright this holiday season. Stamp these with a black ink for Copic coloring. Since I am gonna color in the word bright with Copic markers, and then I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my Christmas lights from Bright Lights. And I decided to do rainbow because I want everything to be bright. We're gonna color in the word bright with rainbow colors. We're gonna stamp our, or, or our Christmas lights with, with rainbow colors. And then we're gonna do some bright coloring for the gift packages and the lights around the little puppy Christmas tree below. And we'll get to that in a minute. I used candied apple, carved pumpkin, mustard seed, mowed lawn, salty ocean, and wilted violet distress inks. And I am using the Misty so that I can stamp these one on top of another. I did about three times for each to get a really nice, solid stamped Christmas light image for each of the lights. And you can see with the first one, it's not great, but each additional layer really makes those Christmas lights pop. I think these are so fun, can be used in so many different ways. Really lovely images. Re very, very excited about this stamp set because I like how easy, you can use it with other images or you can use it on its own. And let's finish finally with the Wilted Violet over here on the edge. And once we have that, it's time to color in our sentiment, stamp the images we're gonna use to, to decorate this card and finish it all up. So we're gonna take a white pen first because I need to do some stamping and coloring, I thought this was a good opportunity to add a liquid that I'm going to be adding to the Christmas lights so that it dries while I'm coloring. But I first went in with a white opaque pen and added those highlights back into the Christmas lights. And then I took Nouveau Crystal Drops and White Blizzard and applied those over the lights so that they will be sparkly and I really, really show up in the finished card. I'm gonna color in the word bright with Copic markers, R35 and 37 for the red, YR04 and 09 for orange, Y11, 08 and eight, or pardon me, eight and 19 for yellow, YG23 and 17 for green, B24 and 28 for blue, and B66 and 69 for the purple. And again, we're gonna cover that with Nuvo Crystal Drops in White Blizzard as well, so that that word not only is rainbow, but sparkles. 
The images are all from the Yappy Woofmas and Trim the Tree stamp sets. And I have listed the colors I'm using to color in everything on the screen. We've got some little chicks, we've got a couple of cats, we've got the little puppy Christmas tree, and then this present right here with the cat po poking out of the box with the lid off of it, there's a little mouse there as well. So we've got lots of cute little images and critters. I love how well these work together. These little chicks are so cute. I think they're a really fun addition as well. And we're gonna just color everything in. The puppy I colored, he's a little fluffy puppy, in some earth tones, E50, 53, 55. A little E57 maybe here and there. R20 for the cheeks on anything. That includes the chicks, the cats, the dogs. If you see pink cheeks, I used R20. The Christmas lights wrapped around the puppy, I went ahead and did in rainbow color as well. No shading, they're very, very teeny tiny. So I kept those all just with one single marker color. A little mouse, some warm grays. Warm grays for the kitty as well. We're gonna make a black and white spotted kitty, so we're using some warm grays here for that. Pink for the cheeks, pink for the nose, which is the R20 marker. Adding in some pattern to the gift box, making it a, a green and white plaid with a white opaque pen. Adding highlights to parts of the image. Same thing with the little puppy tree image. We're gonna do a red box with a blue ribbon for this cat. So going back in with our 35, 37, and 39 for the gift package or the box and the lid. And then I went ahead and used some blues for the ribbon just to mix it up a little bit. I originally thought I would do the small package that the chick is sticking out of in orange and I didn't like it at all. Um, just really didn't work for me. So instead of recoloring it, I'm actually just gonna cover this up with my red markers. I would highly um, suggest making sure and letting it sit for a minute and letting it dry before you go in with the red so that the colors don't bleed. And then to help disguise the fact that it's not quite as red as some of the other images, I gave that one a polka dot pattern and the ribbon a green stripe, which I think helps disguise the fact that the red is not exactly the same. And then the cat colors are E13, 15, and 18. And I die cut all of these images with the coordinating Yappy Woofmas and Trim the Tree dies. Make sure and go in, add black detail to all of the eyes. We're gonna attach all of these images with foam adhesive squares from Scrapbook Adhesives, starting with the dog first, and then we're just gonna build out from there. This helps pop the images off of the background a little bit as well. The little chick here kind of, I kind of imagine him fluttering and flying with the little star on top of him. I thought that was kind of cute and a great way to disguise the other end of the Christmas lights. So there's our front panel, Nouveau Crystal Drops for the stars on the chick and the puppy tree. Nouveau Crystal Drops in gloss white. We're just gonna add a scattering of little white drops around the background to finish it off and give it a little bit added interest. For the inside, I have used the little handle for the gift bag, which I'm going to line up here and draw a pencil line because I die cut it from one side 
That little pencil line is going to give me a guide to be able to die cut the other side of this tote bag so that they line up perfectly when I assemble these on the inside of the card. So this is again the inside pop card holder. This time we're actually going to do some inking instead of die cutting this from a different color cardstock, but I only want the tote bag to have color, not the part that is attached to the card itself. I also want this to very much look like the front of the card, so we're going to be using a bright lights, the other strand of lights, and we're going to use a sentiment from the Holiday Messages stamp set, both stamped with an ink for Copic coloring. I, don't, I wanted something that wouldn't smear. I did the stamping first and we're going to ink over it. You could do it either way. Um, I wasn't exactly sure. Um, I thought I might leave the tote bag white and I wasn't sure until after I stamped the lights that I wanted to go ahead and make the tote bag resemble the front of the card. So again, just like the front, we are going to stamp the Christmas lights. I'm using the Misty so that I can stamp them one on top of another. So I get a nice solid stamped image. Distress inks are not like a dye ink exactly. So sometimes you have to stamp them more than once. If you are using Distress Oxides, which have pigment ink in them, you might have a little bit better results as far as that because pigment inks typically are very good when stamping a solid stamp image, but this works as well. Once I have my lights all stamped, I'm going to mask off that long edge that attaches the inside pop card holder to the card and the tab. You wouldn't necessarily have to do the tab, but I find that adhesive doesn't always like to stick to Distress Ink. So I went ahead and just masked that off so I didn't have to worry about maybe my gift card pocket holder here popping apart inside the card. Again, we're gonna use squeezed lemonade and a very, very tiny bit of abandoned coral. I'm not gonna go quite as heavy on the inside here with that on both sides, not only the side that has the string of lights and the greeting, but the other side as well to make it very cohesive and go together. So we're just applying it all over this and then we will assemble our inside pop card holder on the inside of our card. And it's gonna complement the front of the card really nicely. So let's remove our masks. Let's fold all of our little edges Again, one half inch score tape works great for these long edges on the back. I use one or one half inch, pardon me, one eighth on the little tabs. And then we're going to simply take our card base and you don't wanna put the two pieces super close together. You wanna to attach them on either side of the seam so that the card still folds perfectly. So you can see I'm kind of going around the seam and then pinching those sides together and look how cute that is. You just slip a gift card inside for your recipient and it works perfectly. So there is the finished card. Again, I'm gonna take some Nouveau Crystal Drops in White Blizzard. I'm gonna add my white highlights back in and have some sparkly lights on the inside of the card as well. I wanted it to complement and match perfectly. Thank you so much for joining me today for these two cards featuring the Mama Elephant inside pop card holder and lots of other Mama Elephant stamps and dies. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos featuring Mama Elephant that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.